much. Uh, joining us now, Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy, a Democrat. He serves on both the Intelligence and Oversight Committees. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us. So what do you think? John Bolton, the former National Security Advisor, he's teasing uh, that the White House is worried about what he knows and what he might say. Uh, is it a mistake to move ahead without pushing much harder to get his testimony? Because I think you could be close to getting it. Well, first of all, thanks for having me on. And you're right that um, his uh, subordinates at the National Security Council, including Dr. Hill, uh, including Lieutenant Colonel Vindman and others, uh, did testify that he had s significant concerns about what was happening on this irregular policy channel that was headed by Rudy Giuliani to pressure the Ukrainian government to investigate Joe Biden and uh, President Trump's domestic rivals. Um, that being said, uh, at this point, I think that um, we need to quickly conclude this particular inquiry, if for no other reason than to stop the wrongdoing that's happening right now in our far foreign policy at the White House. Because as you may have seen on my questioning of some of the witnesses, they, they can't rule out that the same thing that's happening in Ukraine is happening in other countries, whether it's Saudi Arabia or Russia or uh, other countries. And so I think that we have to move forward. If we were to go through some long court fight to get others, um, it would just uh, accomplish what unfortunately the White House is engaged in, which is trying to stonewall and prevent this investigation from going forward. Your committee, the Intelligence Committee, is now writing the report on the impeachment in Korea. Uh, what will that report look like? Well, um, the ABLE staff of the committee is trying to put together all this evidence uh, that's been gathered over uh, many weeks at this point um, and essentially try to just present the facts um, and whether they support uh, some of the different theories behind wrongdoing. Um, I suspect that the minority will also be given a chance to submit their report to the Judiciary Committee. And then the Judiciary Committee will have to decide next steps. Uh, but I think that at this point, uh, everyone's trying to gather all the evidence, whether it's documentary, documentary or deposition evidence, and of course, the hearing testimony. I got to just say one thing. Those 12 witnesses who came forward, um, they were incredible witnesses. Uh, they were careful. They were consistent in their recounts of what happened. And they provided compelling, indeed riveting testimony at times. They certainly did. Uh, how soon, Congressman, will you send that report from the Intelligence Committee to the Judiciary Committee? Um, I don't know the exact timing. I think Chairman Schiff would like to um, uh, do it as, as quickly as we can. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, I got to tell you, people are exhausted <laughs> from what just happened. We had a, a marathon two weeks of hearings. And, uh, you know, I think uh, today people are just trying to get their bearings and then uh, power through the next uh, couple weeks uh, and get everything uh, concluded uh, in, in an orderly fashion, hopefully. As you know, many of the witnesses we heard from, and they were all impressive uh, in these impeachment hearings, are uh, yes, either sir. immigrants yes, themselves uh, or children of immigrants uh, like yourself. Uh, and I want to show this emotional exchange you had with Lieutenant Colonel Alex Vindman. Listen to this. From one immigrant American to another immigrant American, I want to say to you that you and your family represent the very best of America. I assume that you are as proud <clears throat> to be an American as I am, correct? Yes, sir. So what's your reaction, Congressman, to the ongoing attacks uh, on these witnesses over their heritage by some of these fringe groups out there and some that may not even be fringe groups? I think it's reprehensible. Uh, in Lieutenant Colonel Vindman's case, I, I personally believe that the attacks are in part motivated by uh, his immigrant status. Uh, you know, I, this gentleman came over when he was three and a half years old as a, as a toddler uh, from the Soviet Union. Um, his father, he and his brothers came here with his grandmother. His mother had died when he was very young. And you know what they did? They set about um, basically committing themselves to America. All three brothers are in the military, Wolf. And um, 
The other thing that really bothered me about the attacks on Lieutenant Colonel Vindman uh, had to do, I think, in part with his Jewish heritage as well. Um, this is something that I talked about with uh, Dr. Fiona Hill. Um, there has been a consistent smear campaign against her, uh, Marie Yovanovitch, and uh, potentially even Lieutenant Colonel Vindman in some of these right-wing circles, in part based on their uh, Jewish heritage and conspiracy theories with George Soros and just some crackpot theories. In some cases, I believe that those same people who are fomenting those theories are trafficking in those crazy conspiracy theories with regard to Ukraine uh, interfering in our 2016 elections. I think it's just a, a nutty um, uh, group of people uh, who are um, kind of behind some of these uh, uh, strange theories that uh, seek to smear Vindman and Hill and Yovanovitch and others. Yeah, I think, I, I think you make an important point. I'm going to have more on this uh, later this hour. Uh, Congressman, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.